At the base of Foster Road in Canandaigua lies Titchener Point, a piece of land formed centuries ago by the creek that runs through its glen into the lake. Named for Isaac and Jemima Titchener of Newark, New Jersey, it was an important area for Native Americans. With the Phelps and Gorham purchase, the point land passed through the hands of several early families, including Oliver and Laura Phelps. A man named Stiles opened a tavern and cider mill near the point shortly after 1800. In the early years of the 20th century, two small hotels sprang up to the south. The Walter Rita Hotel and the Red Cedar Lodge drew vacationers to the beauty of Canandaigua Lake. Our Lady of Lebanon Catholic Chapel was erected to service the Catholic cottagers as an alternative to traveling to the city. The chapel was dedicated by Bishop Hickey in 1915. A statue from that chapel was relocated to the east of the retreat house, where it can still be seen today. In 1890, the Titchners leased the land to Professor Albert Array of the Rochester Free Academy and Mechanics Institute, now known as the Rochester Institute of Technology, where he established a national science camp for boys at Titchener Point, modeled on a camp in Worcester, Massachusetts. The camp grew to include 150 boys living in more than 50 tents and featured famous naturalists who spoke there. Water and electricity were piped into the camp that included a large pavilion with stage and even a dark room. The following year, an accompanying camp for girls was started. Campers came from large cities and towns throughout the East, and there was no doubt as to the social class that became its campers. A message in a 1900 camp bulletin read, we will take care of your boy while you are in Paris. The Tischner sold the land in 1904, and the science camp, including this mess hall, moved to Cuca Lake in 1905. Over the years, the former science camp became the home of the Rochester Boy Scouts and local YMCAs. Professor Albert Airy, who started and ran the natural science camp here on Tishner Point, was indeed well ahead of his times. Not only did he teach theologies without a book, all, uh, it was all field work, but also it was perhaps one of the very first co-ed camps in the United States.